Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. This is layout number two for lesson one of Sarah's Scrap Simple Elegance class. So here in a minute, I will show you my inspiration photo. And then you'll see I am also incorporating paper issues. Those were the good days, my friend, November challenge, which was to use a black and white photo. You didn't have to take it that direction, but that was one of the options. That's where I went with it. I just thought that was super appropriate given my inspiration. So this is just a photo of Bennett. I thought it was, it matched the photo really well. Cause if you look at the bed, uh, it has that dark blanket across the bottom and then he's wearing those dark colored little pants. So I thought that was super cute. Um, I really, really, really wanted to go and get a cement looking paper to go with my uh, inspiration photo. Um, but another thing Sarah is really doing with this class, which I really appreciate, is uh, encouraging you to use your stash and not go out and buy things. I know the past few layouts, you guys have heard me say, I made a special trip to get this single piece of paper for this challenge. So I wasn't gonna do it again. <laughs> I took Sarah's advice. I used what I had in my stash and I'm really glad I did. I've had this um, marbly looking paper in my stash for a while. It came in a um, the paper studio kit, paper kit, I think it was called Cosmopolitan. Um, and I just hadn't used it and it's been sitting there and sitting there. So I'm super happy I got it used up on this one. I think it ends up looking really cool even though it's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, but it works and it's used and it's not in my stash anymore so we're good. Um, right now I'm just cutting up a bunch of strips of black paper to layer on top of each other. I was trying to figure out how I, what One thing I really liked about my inspiration photo was that sleek black shelf that was in the background that had that wood frame and the black and white photo and some stacked books on it. I was trying to figure out how I could get a similar look on my page. So I decided to make like a mantle, kind of. So I just took a bunch of black strips of paper. I inked the edges. It's super subtle. You see it more in person than in this video. Um, but it actually looks really cool. It's a really sub like subtle layering effect, but um, it gives some dimension and it really kind of does look like a mantle, especially because it is on that back marbly paper that kind of does look like a wall or a counter. I don't know, whichever. Uh, and then I did just want to mimic again um, the wood frame that was in my inspiration photo. So I just cut a frame out of that wood grain plank. So that's where I'm starting my design. Um, I made this mantle and I want to use it like a mantle where it looks like everything is sat up on it as if it was actually on a wall. So that's where I'm starting. Um, you can really see where I started with my inspiration photo, um, but I did put it aside, which is really hard. I wanted to keep looking at it and make it look just like my photo, but um, yeah, put it aside and I just tried to remember what I liked about it and pull it into my page, which I really like how it ends up turning out. Um, you just saw me back that frame in some vellum just so it gave a little bit more interest but in a subtle way. And now I'm just trying to figure out how I can layer up a few things to make it look interesting. So I'm going to use a few tags. Um, those are Vive Studio chalkboard tags, the skinny black ones. And then I'm also using a DIY shop newsprint and chalkboard tag uh, for behind the photo. But again, I'm just layering up a white doily. I always think that adds a really pretty textured layered element. There we go. And then it was bothering me how the newsprint tag had this really skinny string and then the chalkboard tag, tag has this really pretty thick white twine. So I swapped out the newsprint tag with a black and white piece of twine that had the same width kind of, so at least they looked more similar. Um, but it was still bothering me that they looked different. So you'll see me later in the video go back and also swip, swatch out. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't talk. <laughs> Switch out the chalkboard tag for um, that black and white twine as well. So it's matching, but I don't do that yet. And then I liked how those skinny chalkboard uh, tags looked kind of like the stacked books that were in the inspiration photo. So you see me layer it up there. But what I'm doing now is it was really bothering me having those holes in those skinny banners. So I figured I either needed to cover them up or put twine through them. 
and I thought it would be really weird having twine through them when I already have twine on the other tags, especially because the string would be going over the photo like sideways. So I just die cut a few little wood grain hearts that way I pulled in that wood grain somewhere else and then I also covered up those holes. And then I'm just going to stagger them to add some interest. And I think about pulling in these um, other wood veneer shapes, but it, it threw off the whole look, so I quickly decide not to do that. <laughs> I'm just thinking about embellishments now. I, I really like how my page is going. It looks super sleek, really modern, and then uh, kind of elegant, which I was proud of. That's the whole point of Sarah's class is to really make your pages look more elegant. Um, so I, I'm kind of, I'm very proud of myself that I'm trying to stick to all of her tips and everything. And again, I'm not gonna share those with you because um, that's Sarah's class, that's her deal. If you wanna know the awesome, amazing tips and tricks, you can take that class yourself. I'm gonna link it in the description again. Um, but yeah, so I'm really liking how it's coming along. So I'm just trying to be super careful with my embellishing, the embellishments. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to edit this out. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't talk this video. <sighs> it's cool. I'm almost done. I can make it. So I punched a heart out of that wood grain and I am just going to use those epoxy Heidi Swap hearts as my embellishments. I thought they looked really sleek and modern and it added the extra detail without, I don't know, going over the top. So I add those in a few different areas. I really like how that looks. And then I go back with my Nouveau drops and add a little dot to each of those heart clusters as well. So, but I think that's it. I do pull in one of those black flares. Um, it says, home is wherever I'm with you, which I thought was super cute. I think that was from Moira as well, or Giselle. One of you guys, you guys always give me happy mail when I like win things and I love them. So I always want to tell you when I use your stuff, but I can't remember which one of you sent it to me. <laughs> but those, those Nuva drops, I switched out the twine, and this is the finished page. So thanks guys for watching. I'm almost done with my lesson two layout, so you should see that soon. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.